Hey, tech enthusiasts. Welcome to Knowledge Catch. Today, we're tackling database normalization. Think of it as giving your data a much-needed spring cleaning. We'll break down the five normal forms so you can keep your databases tidy and efficient. Ready to make your data shine? Let's dive in. Tired of dry, boring tech tutorials? Knowledge Catch is your go-to spot. We make complex tech concepts fun and easy to understand. Don't forget to like and subscribe to satisfy your thirst for tech knowledge. So, what is database normalization? In simple terms, it is a way to organize data efficiently. Have you ever seen a messy list of data that was hard to read or work with? That's what normalization helps us avoid. It's like tidying up your room so everything is easy to find. We'll go through five steps called normal forms from 1NF to 5NF, each building on the previous one. These steps help us avoid mistakes like data duplication or confusion about what information belongs together. Let's start with the first normal form, 1NF. Let's start with the first normal form, or 1NF. This is the simplest form of database normalization, but it's very important. The main idea behind 1NF is that you should eliminate repeating groups in your data. For example, if you have multiple pieces of information in one cell, like a list of items, you need to break those up into separate rows or columns. Each piece of information should be atomic, meaning it contains only one value. Also, you need to create a separate table for related data. For example, if you have customer information and order information in the same table, it's better to split those into two separate tables. Lastly, every row in your table should have a primary key. This is a unique identifier that distinguishes one row from another. Imagine it like a student ID number. Each student has a different number that identifies them in the system. In summary, 1NF is about making your data more organized by keeping it simple and avoiding any repeating or grouped values. Here's an example of a table before applying 1NF. The courses column has multiple values for each student. For example, student one has math, science, history, all listed in one cell. This makes it difficult to search or update a specific course. Imagine if you wanted to find all students taking science. It would be hard to filter out because the courses are grouped together. This setup can also lead to mistakes or missing information. After applying 1NF, we split the data into individual rows. Now, each course is listed on its own line, so it's easier to find and work with. For example, student one now has three rows, one for each course they are taking, math, science, and history. This way, each data entry is simple and clear. If we wanted to search for all students taking science, it's much easier now. This is a key benefit of 1NF. Better organization and easier data management. Now that we've covered 1NF, let's move on to the second normal form, or 2NF. To reach 2NF, your data must already be in 1NF, so no repeating groups, and all values must be atomic. But 2NF adds an extra layer of organization. The key concept here is removing partial dependencies. A partial dependency happens when a column depends on only part of the primary key, not the whole key. This often happens in tables where the primary key is made up of more than one column, like a composite key. For example, if you have an order ID and a product ID together as a key, and some other information, like a product name, only depends on product ID, not the whole key, that's a partial dependency. In 2NF, we want to make sure that every non-key attribute 
or every column that isn't part of the primary key, depends on the entire primary key. If it doesn't, we move that information into a new table where it can depend on a more relevant key. This makes the data more efficient, ensuring that everything is correctly tied to the key and avoids unnecessary duplication. Let's look at an example before applying to NF. Here, we have an orders table with order ID, product ID, product name, and customer ID. The issue here is that product name only depends on the product ID and not the whole order ID. This means there's a partial dependency because product name is tied to just part of the key and not the entire key. This can lead to errors or redundant data. After applying 2NF, we split the table into two. One table is for the orders, which has order ID, product ID, and customer ID. The second table is for products, with product ID and product name. Now, there are no partial dependencies because each piece of information depends on the entire key in its own table. This makes the data cleaner and more flexible, ensuring each bit of data is correctly related. Now, we're ready to talk about the third normal form, or 3NF. To get to 3NF, your data must already be in 2NF. So there should be no repeating groups, all values should be atomic, and there should be no partial dependencies. But 3NF introduces another rule, removing transitive dependencies. A transitive dependency is when a non-key column depends on another non-key column, instead of depending directly on the primary key. For example, let's say you have an employee table with employee ID, department, and department head. If department head depends on department and not directly on employee ID, you have a transitive dependency. In 3NF, we make sure that every non-key column depends only on the primary key and not any other non-key columns. This step prevents indirect relationships that can lead to confusion or errors in your data. By removing transitive dependencies, we ensure that each piece of information is directly related to the main key, making the data more logical and easier to manage. In this example, we have a table with employee ID, department, and department head. The problem is that department head depends on department, not employee ID. This is a transitive dependency because department head should really depend on employee ID, not just department. This setup could lead to issues if we ever change the department structure or if there are multiple heads for one department. After applying 3NF, we split the data into two tables. One table has employee ID and department, and the other has department and department head. Now, department head is correctly tied to department in a separate table, and the transitive dependency is gone. This makes the data more reliable and ensures everything is connected properly. BCNF or Boyce Cod normal form, is a special version of 3NF. It's mostly the same as 3NF, but it has one extra rule. For every dependency, the part on the left side, called the determinant, must be a superkey. A superkey is something that can uniquely identify every row in a table. This rule helps make sure that the data is structured correctly and avoids problems where a non-key attribute can wrongly determine another attribute. In this example, we have student, course, and professor. The issue is that professor determines the course, but professor is not a super key. This creates a problem because professor is not unique enough to determine course. We need to fix this by reorganizing the data so every dependency follows the rules of BCNF. 
After applying BCNF, we split the data into two tables. One table tracks the student and the courses they're taking. And another table connects courses with professors. Now, every dependency in the database is based on a super key, which ensures there are no mistakes in the relationships between data. Fourth normal form, or 4NF, handles a specific issue called multi-value dependencies. If there are multiple independent pieces of information about one thing, they should be kept in a separate table. For example, if a student can have both sports and musical instruments, these two sets of information should be stored separately. Keeping them in one table can lead to unnecessary repetition and confusion. Here's an example before 4NF. The student John has two pieces of information, the sports he plays and the instruments he plays, all stored together. This creates multi-value dependencies because John has multiple sports and instruments. The problem is that this leads to unnecessary repetition of data, which makes it harder to manage. After applying 4NF, we split the data into two tables, one for the sports the student plays and another for the instruments they play. This way, there's no overlap between unrelated pieces of data and the information is easier to maintain. Each table is now focused on one set of data. The final step, 5NF, ensures that there are no join dependencies. This means that the data can't be split into smaller tables without losing important information. 5NF makes sure that everything is stored in the simplest and most accurate way possible. It's a bit like making sure all the puzzle pieces fit together without leaving any gaps. In this example, we have salesperson, product, and customer. These represent complex many-to-many -many relationships between all three. The issue here is that the table could be decomposed into smaller tables, but this could lead to data loss if not done carefully. After applying 5NF, we break the data into three smaller tables, but we do it carefully so that no information is lost. One table tracks the relationship between salesperson and product another between product and customer, and the last one between salesperson and customer. This setup ensures that the many-to-many -many relationships are preserved correctly without losing any important data. To wrap up, we covered all the normal forms from 1NF to 5NF. Each form builds on the previous one and helps us organize data better. 1NF ensures each value is simple and there are no repeating groups. 2NF removes partial dependencies, and 3NF eliminates transitive dependencies. BCNF makes sure every determinant is a superkey. 4NF deals with multi-value dependencies, and 5NF takes care of join dependencies. While normalization improves data organization, remember to balance it with performance needs. Thanks for watching. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so that we can keep making such videos for you.